Greetings, beautiful viewers. This is Smitten. Daji is on the PTS, and I've been playing around with her on Twitch, and after a live build session, I'd like to share my findings. This isn't a guide video, just a build with alternate itemization to capitalize on her strengths and minimize her weaknesses. So far, most folks are content to say she's underperforming, and perhaps she is. But they also seem to be favoring building for abilities rather than basic attacks. Which seems to be the root cause of their disappointment, as building for her abilities forces a spotlight on their low scaling and underwhelming damage. So what are you building abilities for? Before you blow your top and light me up in the comments section for individual item buys, calm your tits and try to judge the build as a whole. Starting with starters, when you enter the match you're going to grab Bumba's Mask and Bluestone Pendant, along with two mana and health bots. Grab Beads or Blink for your Relic. Bumba's for the obvious jungling bonuses of Camp Clear and Longevity, Bluestone to expand on her Camp Clearing ability. Now for something completely controversial, Ninja Tabby. I can already hear your frantic typing. Whoa, 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 Smitten, you just finished telling me how she's got low scaling and ability damage. Why would you take boots with half the physical power? Simply put, the cheap spike in attack speed early on helps you flow through her attack chain and apply her endlessly stacking dots, especially when near a full build. For the second item, pick up Shifter Shield. Currently on the PTS, this item is receiving some changes, so I'll take a moment to delve into these. The base power is being reduced to 35, but the passive bonus power is getting boosted to 35. So, when you're over 50% health, you have 70 physical power in your pocket, and that's some serious price to performance. On top of that, the base protections are also dropping by 15, while the bonus under 50% health is jumping up to 35. So now you have the difference between feeding and leading a 50 protections or 70 power as your second item. Daji will really start to come online with this build once you complete Shifter Shield, giving you a barrier for entry that evaporates at the 10 to 12 minute mark. Next up is a choice. This choice may solidify as changes get introduced, but for now, I'm torn between Ikaval and Asi. On Ikaval's side, we have a slightly more cost-effective item that offers better damage throughput per gold. While with Asi, you've got better control over staying above 50% health and keeping that 70 power from Shifter Shield pumping. This gives you more flexibility while switching between farming and engaging enemy gods. Staying above 50% is going to be crucial for Daji's poor scaling and damage, especially with the choice of Ninja Tabby. I'd say this choice boils down to three basic things. One, Ikaval's passive gives you a boost of power whereas Aussie has survivability. Two, Ikaval if you're ahead, Aussie if you're behind. And three, playstyle. For the fourth item, we're going with Executioner. The necessary penetration gets filled here. Either Ikaval or Aussie are already providing a tiny bit of flat pin, but Executioner will provide the percentage pin you need to carry through to the late game while also bulking up your attack speed. Now with Executioner completed, it's time to sell Bluestone Pennant in favor of Poison Star. Yet another controversial pick, but it most importantly compensates for her lack of slows or CC by applying a slow on every crit. I feel it's critical to stack attack speed and this item provides it. At this point, you're sitting around max level and it's time to sell Bumbas for Bloodforge. Climbing into the upper echelons of price to pick up a whopping 75 physical power is the prime reason for this choice. Beyond that, once you blast your unfortunate target into the purgatory of the spawn timer, you also gain 10% movement speed for 20 seconds. That means Shifter Shield and Blood Forge are pulling their weight to help you compensate for the lack of damage and scaling that Daji suffers from. Sell off Ikaval or Aussie and pick up Malice. Along with the healthy boost to power and crit chance comes that passive. Each time you crit, you're dealing yet another gruesome dot, which synergizes well with her bleeds, all the while making sure the slow from Poison Stars stays up and running. There is an alternative branch of this build I'd like to discuss. If your opponents are running a chunkier team, you could opt out for Chin Size and Stonecutter Sword instead of Poison Star and Malice. Ensure you're foregoing crit and the slow, but it gives you 10% movement speed. With Chins, you're not losing out on any attack speed, and with Stone Cutters, you're gaining extra power and penetration. You're also losing the dot from Malice, but each hit from Chins is chunking away 4% of the target's maximum health. Either the Poison Star or the Chunky Buster build help compensate for the lack of mobility and damage. The Chunky Buster gives a constant movement speed, while the Poison build gives a crit conditional slow as well as a bit of extra utility and survivability in a boxing match. In conclusion, Daji isn't worthless and will almost certainly get some buffs going forward. These two builds offer a highly cost-effective solution for her problems and open up significant timings and can either protect you from falling behind in a game or help you make the most out of an early advantage. 
The cost of the poison star builds totals out to be 15,551 gold after all items are sold, while the cost of the chunky buster build totals 15,451 gold. Minus potions, of course. So, go give these builds a try and let me know in the comments how they work. If you like the build or the alternative, help me name them. Also, while you're at it, what other gods would you like to see a build video on? Don't forget to subscribe and remember to check out my Twitter and Twitch stream. Links in the description. Thank you oh so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. New ones Monday and Friday. Much love and luck in your future matches.